I can't get it off. Is there something else to this? It sounded like it was inside. Please give me a sign through the flame. This comes from a heartbreak. Oh my god, my light bulb was out. I let a ghost into my house and now it's messing everything up. Hi, I'm Lindsay and I'm really into fashion and spooky stuff. Last time I wore a haunted necklace for an entire week and some stuff went down. Literally. Oh, no! Yes, nope. And then I wore a haunted outfit for an entire week and some other stuff went down. This video took a turn. This is dark stuff and I don't like it. Wow, why am I getting emotional? So I've had my share of demons, so it's only fair that I make my friends do it. <laughs> Sorry. This week, it's my friend Maya. Hi, Maya. Hi, Lindsay. I'm so glad you're here with me in spirit. Well, I'm giving you something haunted. How do you feel? Listen, my spirit angels, my ancestors, they've got me. So at first I was like, should I do this? But it's fine. I have literally all my prayer candles. So we're giving you the Widow Spirit Lover Companion Haunted Necklace. It's honestly pretty cute. Oh, it is cute. The spirit is a human spirit with curly blonde hair and green eyes. She's about five feet tall. Her energy is a bit melancholy at times. She lost her husband to an illness when she was young, and then she passed away from the same illness not too long after him. This comes from a heartbreak. I recently got ghosted. <gasps> oh, pun intended. <laughs> so I'm also not heartbroken, but I get you, girl. She does have a sense of humor. However, it can take a little while to show up, but she is hilarious once it does. Oh, you guys could be besties. <laughs> I think, honestly, I would hang out with this woman. She is looking for a keeper who can spend time with her so that she doesn't have to feel lonely. She is open to friendship with anyone. She is heterosexual and would be open to trying a romantic relationship with a male partner. She has enjoyed interactions with other spirits. She enjoys any friendly relationships that she can engage in. The spirit enjoys offerings of cake and rose quartz. Very specific. She enjoys listening to soft jazz music and watching romantic films. She tends to manifest through orbs and dreams. Listen, I feel like this is like a dating app. I'm swiping right on her, sis. Swipe right. What I'm curious about is if she's such a good spirit to have around and a great friend, why is she selling it? Why is she giving it away? Is there something else to this? <gasps> Wait, wow. It's actually really pretty. I'm gonna be a little suspicious, okay? I'm not gonna warm up to her just yet. Oh, I get it, you're a ghost. Oh, you're a spirit, you travel through dimensions. Awesome, cool. But boundaries, baby, boundaries. If she comes in here and something's off, she's gonna be thrown out the window. Got it. Uh, don't let, I mean, I wish she wasn't around. Here. I'll throw the necklace out the window. Okay, we're just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> we love you. All right. I'm gonna pack this up in the mail and send it on your way, Maya. Do I believe in the paranormal? <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> Especially within my culture, I'm Mexican American. We have a lot of ghost stories. My grandmother is, uh, I don't know, I think you'd call her clairvoyant. She can see spirits, she can see ghosts. Literally, like when I would spend the night at her house, I would hear her scream, you get out and she like would tell me that she saw a ghost i've already done my protection bubble potentially if there is a spirit in here although you know it came with a note and it was like thanks for supporting a small business girl you got a ghost business you're selling these ghosts that's a little problematic to me so here's the item it looks very vintagey oh i forgot that i have to put it on <gasps> I'm just kidding. <laughs> you thought. <coughs> just kidding. You thought. I think that I would style this with like a white top or I don't know, something that like shows this part. What are we thinking, girl? What are we thinking? She has absolutely no input. I can't get it off. Okay. Just kidding. So let's pick out an outfit. I'm kind of leaning towards this gray top. <gasps> oh, interesting. Oh, sweetie, I got an outfit. What do we think about this? What do we think? Did you hear her say anything? She's being... I thought I heard something. Nope! I kind of don't like it. It feels like costume jewelry. I'm sorry, I keep dissing her. I'm sorry. So I'm gonna call Curly to see what he thinks. The necklace I am wearing, what do you think about it? 
what kind of opinion would you like? Or is it aesthetic opinion? This is the haunted necklace that Lindsay is having me wear this week. I have this thing about items that are haunted. Like when people are like, this necklace is haunted or this piece of jewelry is haunted. I just feel like ghosts are going to be less inclined to haunt plastic. You know what I'm saying? Like Exactly. So do you believe that like <laughs> items can be enchanted or haunted i think that items can have spiritual or spirit imprints on them but i don't okay. believe that it would be just anything i think it would have to be something that was like of huge importance let me see how it looks on you oh pretty mina get chulita cutie it actually looks really good on you though so a little birdie told me, Lindsay, that homegirl likes jazz. Meanwhile, we're gonna be making funfetti cupcakes. I'm not gonna lie, I just heard some tapping. I feel really weird. It sounded like it was inside. Literally, this this box just flew. Like, it just flew. I think because I put this box on top of here and it's very like, you know, I don't know. That happened. Oh my God, my light bulb was out. What? What did that happen? The energy of this feels very like mischievous. And I don't know if I'm like making it up in my head, like the mood change. Did my fan just turn off? It was on like full speed. It just turned off. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. I let a ghost into my house and now it's messing everything up. Oh my God, it looks so cute as a hair, <gasps> as a hair piece. Okay, everyone, we have our cake here. This ghost is making me bake a cake. I have no control over my body. Oh. Did you see that? Was that because I was dancing or because the ghost is tired of me? And now we're doing the dishes together. So she wanted to bake a cake, she said. I said, okay, you gonna help me with the dishes? Nope, I'm a ghost. Trapped in a necklace. Cool. Good morning, everyone. Um, nothing really happened last night except for me waking up at three in the morning and having a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> I do think that me waking up at three in the morning is a little suspicious. It is the witching hour. Welcome to day two, baby. So we're actually going to do some spiritual stuff today with this necklace. But first, before that, we are going to pick the outfit. I kind of like it. I like it better with this outfit because it feels like I'm going out on the town. Hey, look at me. So what I'm gonna do tonight, I heard she likes rose quartz. What I'm gonna do is offer them to her and I'm gonna light a candle. Maybe call in her spirit and talk to her a little bit. You can communicate with ghosts or other things um, through candles. So we're gonna, we're gonna try that. I know how to do this in a very safe way, by the way, so don't just do this like cause you want to and cause you saw me do it. So here we go. And so here's the candle that I'm using. It's just a regular old candle. First, I'm gonna light this candle too for protection. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna ground myself. I'm gonna place a bubble of protection that is light. And so the only spirit that I'm contacting is the one Allegedly, in this necklace, Clarice, Jessica's name, are you here? Clarice, if you're here, please give me a sign through the flame. Oh my God. I wanted to bring you some offerings today, some rose quartz. Clarice, do you like rose quartz? Flicker the flame if you do. Okay. Stop flickering the flame. What the hell? Do you like being here with me? 
Whoa. Yeah, I knew I, I knew I would like you. Did your husband really die? Okay, maybe he didn't die. Oh, whoa, whoa. Okay, okay, I believe you. I believe you. Thank you so much for joining me these past two days. I really enjoyed our time together, but I do think it's time for you to leave. Do you not want to leave? Okay, well, homegirl, you're gonna have to go. Thank you so much for being here with me. I'm going to visualize you crossing over and moving on to the other side that's beautiful and full of light. And I'm gonna be closing this connection. I think she's gonna leave. I'm gonna take off the necklace. The ghost made my hair straight. I'm just kidding. Um, listen, I had a really fun time with the ghost. Uh, she felt like great energy. And there were a couple of things that happened that were just like, okay, maybe she's trying to play a prank on me. Oh. Which I get it, girl, but you can't prank the prankster. Either way, it was very fun. It was a fun experience and I don't feel her energy here anymore. So I think I did a good job at closing the portal or the connection, whatever it is. So yes, also please be mindful when you're dealing with spirits and ghosts. It's a real thing, it's real, okay, it's real.